quite going to cut it. It's a little bit too translucent and you would be able to see the occupants inside rather than just shadow figures. So it's not quite clear enough to be a greenhouse type thing and it's not quite opaque enough to be an exterior cover. But uh, I'm sure I can find use for it. Perhaps maybe making like a sunshade or a cold frame for the winter time or something. Um, but either way, since the fabric was completely and totally rotted and just infested, um, I'm just, I have white plastic, so I want to make it be like the roof. Don't really see much else choice. So that's what I'm going to start off with. <clears throat> I can start getting that door back in there, putting that skylight back on top. So far, so good. Got about a half to go. Okay, so starting with the door, I went around the window as well as I could with the pair of scissors I had to make the line as straight as possible without doing all kinds of work. I still plan on walking. We did better on this side because it was a factory edge. And as I make my way around, you can see the rafters just barely poking through. What I had to do was pull this hole that was covering over top of all this. I pulled it over top of this section. So that way, this can come in, the, the, the plastic can go up to the bottom of the rafter, and then this uh, canvas can then touch on the bottom of that right there. And then I can tie my string up in here as close as I can get. And that ought to make this where there's no air gap. So when we come onto the other side and have damage and stuff like that, I have to uh, play with a pair of scissors. So um, this entire side had slipped downward. So it's going to be an interesting niggle. But uh, I'm up to the task, so we'll see how far we get. Otherwise, I kept the fabric because of the heat of the fireplace. We already know that the fabric is going to be acceptable. Um, and uh, we'll take the heat. I do not believe this plastic is going to be capable of taking the heat. So I have that patch there where there's still some canvas. And then I have this window that I'm going to uh, install that can still open and close just like it used to. And um, I have a staple lever here and there. Oh, just pulled that out. But, um, I'll make this fabric cut and then I'll staple the fabric to this and then I'll cut around so that way this is functional just like it used to be and it'll be just like it is around the uh, fire area. So let me show you what that looks like. So potentially some white paint on this will be matching with the rest of it. It used to be painted white. Otherwise, this is this. I mean, it's, it's there but windows. And um, we have spots due to the fact that it was pulled down lower to where it may come down further than the uh, plastic. And I don't want it to be that ugly. 
so on spots like this, I'm actually going to have to cut it. And that's what I've started doing, is cutting it. So that way when this comes down, it can just come down underneath of the rafter with that string like I'm talking about. So that's where we're at. All right, guys, it's uh, getting a little bit mosquito-y out here, but uh, I've got the string around the top again. It was a real son of a gun trying to cut that canvas from where the roof shook it. That canvas was several layers thick. But then I uh, put the uh, string around the bottom as well. I don't think it's gonna need one in the middle, to be honest. But uh, there were some certain spots where the rope wasn't able to uh, hold the fabric tight, so I threw a staple through the rope, through the plastic, and anything else, like from when I was uh, fitting it initially, since I was doing it myself, like that, I just put like a little finger dab of silicone caulk over top of that, so that's no big deal. But otherwise, that string goes all the way around the top and the bottom, and uh, it goes underneath of the floor. Uh, there's a couple of spots on the bottom that I'm going to need to uh, make slightly shorter just to maintain that uh, it's not going to be trapping too much, you know, humidity or whatever. But for the most part, it seems as though it pulled up and sucked in. Now the uh, section over here with the uh, fireplace is interesting because I don't think plastic is going to take you know this much heat so I left that canvas there but that seems like it kind of went out okay I have to put one little piece up here still with plastic like that near that and uh, that looks like the gist of it so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day um, Still trying to figure out what's going on with the uh, roofing or the ceiling because there's a lot of areas that are uh, still tagged up and just rotten. And if I take them out, then I'm going to be exposing areas like this and rotten um, I'm still not sure what's going on with that. But we are tight and it is airtight and closed up. And around the bottom perimeter, it's any bit as tight as it will be. So it can be perimeter sprayed with a little bit of insect spray or something if somebody's feeling like they need it. But uh, unless it's termites getting in through the wood, and that's unlikely with OSB. Um, the perimeter should be completely and totally sealed from the outside, like 100%. So this is a separate air space. I have to flip the door over so that it ends things and then I'll make a uh, screen door on the outside. So that way, that'll be more like a real house as well. Um, so that's that. Have a good night, guys.